Uh, let's see what this beast has under it. Oh, 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 oh no, this is a tank. Whee! Oh, oh, oops. Um, hold on. I swear we could fix that. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, we just clipped the wall. Oh, hold on. Uh, we're gonna slide and we're gonna be okay. Oh man, today's the day. We're going to the dealership, gonna sell our luxurious SUV. I'm hoping to get about 20K uh, for the trade here because obviously it's in great condition. And holy man, look at the new luxurious modern SUV here. All right, we're just gonna park this thing up over here. There we go. I'll just let them know it's around back. So here we are, Rich's Motor, and we're gonna be looking at the brand new Procyon Centauri, which I believe I'm saying that right. Now, there are many different models for us to choose from. You've got luxurious ones, you got off-road ones. Heck, there might be a police one, which might be my new favorite police vehicle. But yeah, there is a lot to choose from here today. Now, these models are some of the best I've seen here in BMG Drive. Right now, we're looking at the twin turbo V8 version. It's the L520, which L stands for luxury. Check this out, boom. Look at the way this thing opens up. That, wow, that is incredible. Hold on, all the doors work here. Uh, give you guys a little view of the interior. You've got the screens in the back. Nice leather here. I mean, you don't think the dealership would mind if we just hopped in and cranked it up and went for a test drive. I told them the trade was on the other side. Oh my goodness. Look at the trim in here. You've got the nice uh, wood trim. Uh, doesn't look cheap in here. Hold on, to the start button. Look at that, we got onboard computers. I mean, this is gonna be totally fine here. Uh, we'll just leave that back open. Also in this current model, which is the Nebula, uh, you got a nice little starlight uh, roof here. Did I mention the lights even work in this thing? Like this is the most functional car I've ever seen in Beam and G Drive. Look at the lights, that's amazing. Did I also mention that there's a air suspension in here? So look, we can actually lower it. <laughs> Want to make sure it's nice and low to the ground there. That looks amazing. Hold on, does this model have a sunroof on it? This one might not actually have the sunroof since we got the, uh, the little skylight thing here. But yeah, you can uh, even uh, work with those too. So let's just back her up here. Uh, oh, geez. Uh, it's a little sporty devil, isn't it? Oh, my goodness. All right, just uh, going to kind of peel out of the uh, the parking lot here. Sure, they're not going to miss this. All right, let's go into, you got sport mode, you got a trail mode. Uh, there's the traction control off, and then there's the comfort. You know what? Let's go full traction control off. Uh, let's see what this beast has under it. Oh, 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 oh no, this is a tank. Whee! Oh, oh. Oops. Um, hold on. I swear we could fix that. Oh, uh, by the way, there's a monitor on here that lets you know, like, what's wrong with the car. Um, I think we're missing a tire. Okay, it's fine. I should probably close the rear section. There we go. I let you guys uh, see the back of this. So, yeah, this mod has been uh, in the works for a long time. And we just don't have this in Beam and G. And I'm so glad to finally get like a modern SUV. Plus, it's so cool because it's like you don't just get, by the way, the cops are after me. It can't be because we just stole this from the dealership. Uh, but yeah, it's really nice because you've got a ton of variation here. You've got off road versions, you've got your standard versions of it, luxurious versions of it. I think there's a V6 model of it. All right, just gonna go skid through here. Um, maybe we should get on the highway. I'm pretty sure this uh, twin turbo V8. Is gonna be able to light it up here. We're just gonna go up the wrong way. Uh, cops are kind of angry at us right now, but they'll they'll be fine. Uh, uh oh, uh oh! Don't turn in front of me. <laughs> this thing has some get up and go. Uh, it is big though. It definitely feels heavy. Like it understeers, and then you get a little oversteer in the rear end. Uh, Han, we're gonna do a whip 180 here. Uh, oh, come on! Bet you haven't seen an SUV do that. All right, let's see what kind of speed we have here. Hold on, is it gonna let me know anything on the computer? I love the onboard computers here. It's got the big tablet screens that you would expect from like a luxurious car. You got like the GPS is on here. It'll let you know when stuff's like going wrong uh, with the car. Oh, hold on, I gotta turn off, uh, or we need to go back to sport mode here. Uh, here are the cops. Yeah, we're topping out about 130. Uh, 130 in an SUV is plenty fast. Uh, oh, geez, gonna try to take the exit here. Oh, oh, brakes, 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 brakes. Uh, oh, look, high brake temperature. Yeah, it's got an onboard computer that actually lets you know kind of like what's going on with the car. Oh, that was an impact. Um, yeah, she understeers. Hold on, can we crank it back up? Still run? Oh, oh, it cranked. Oh. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> you guys didn't see that. That was embarrassing. <laughs> you know, maybe the Nebula model is just a little too much for Komodo. We can uh, maybe go check out one of the other ones. Uh, I've got like a trail version here. Uh, this is a V6 twin turbo. It's the U340 TD utility package. Yeah, you can open this one up. Does this one have like a cage in it? It kind of looks like a police variant. Uh, yeah, it's a, actually just a two-seater. It's just got like a big cargo bay in here. Uh, so yeah, if you're going camping, you can definitely uh, store a bunch of stuff back there. Uh, over here we have, this is just the uh, standard uh, V6. This is still a luxury edition. By the way, I think the tablet screens, yeah, they do turn on in the back. That's actually really, really cool. Yeah, this model's cranked up, ready to go. Uh, the one inside the dealership's the same one as that. Uh, you do have, this is, I think, your more of your standard base model. Yeah, it's just, well, no, this is a V6 twin turbo. So this is S410T. We'll have to actually go in and look at what the different versions are. So yeah, you got your red trim here. This one, you should be able to open up the uh, sunroof. So we'll hit that. There you go. You can raise it up. Also, yes, the hood does open it. Oh, wait, this is like one of the first vehicles you actually have to hit the hood release. So let's go clunk. <laughs> Yeah, you just don't see this in BMG Drive. Like, the uh, the quality of this mod is insane. And yeah, just the functionality. But yeah, you can, uh, you can close that, or let's close it down here. But yeah, you have to actually hit the release down here in the bottom to pop it. And then, of course, you got the latch. So just to give you a, a feel of all the different uh, models here, uh, you even have a body and frame. So I'm assuming you could build one from the ground up, which I think would be kind of cool. You got a drivable body and frame. Uh, but yeah, there's just a ton of variation with the uh, the Nebula Edition, I guess, being the, the high-end one. Okay, so here we are with the Police Interceptor version. This thing looks absolutely incredible. You got, like, the cage in the back. There isn't, like, an onboard computer. Uh, there's the cage there. But, I mean, there's already, like, three screens here. I'm sure we can get the information needed. Uh, but yeah, I've got a couple cars set up here. Uh, we're gonna see if this thing is a capable takedown vehicle. Hold on, let's activate the lights real quick. Ooh, those are nice. I like the uh, the lights in like the uh, bull bar in the front. But there they go. They're gonna take off. Uh, oh, the SUV is that thing is sporty. It is keeping up with the ETK horns. Activate the sirens here. All right, let's see if we can take down these vehicles. The only thing I'm a little uh, concerned about is the rolling. Uh, I don't know if this thing is top heavy. I mean, it's an SUV, but I think the suspension. I think it just it handles it really well. Like it is a super balanced car. Uh, you pretty much know when it's gonna understeer. All right, what are our suspects gonna do here? Are we gonna exit off? No, we're gonna stay on the highway. Uh, I'd be curious if they're able to take the corner, at least the back SUV at speed here. Now they're doing a good job, holy man. Uh, I was kind of expecting somebody to fly off at an intersection. Oh, here we go. Wow, they're keeping up with each other there. Okay, oh, 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 hopped up on the curb there for a second, Han. Uh, might be able to go in for a pit. Uh, geez, they are driving all over the road. You can tell the AI's struggling a little bit with the heavier car. Uh, it's heavy and it's really sporty, so... Uh, oh, oh, they're gonna hit the wall, Han. Let's go in for a... Oh! Okay, it's hard to pit an SUV. Hold on, let's go another little bump here. Oh, there we go! And... Is he done? What did that just rip off? Was that like the skid plate under there? He hit a rock. on. I'm gonna say that was a pin. Uh, they're gonna take back off. Actually, I think he's gonna get himself stuck. We gotta go after that ETK, so, uh, let's see if we can keep going with the same car here. Uh, my door's busted. I uh, got a little ding in the left front, and the bull bar is bent. Oh, now we got a bigger ding. This is fine. But yeah, this thing is a tank, so it can take collisions quite well. I'm actually looking forward to testing the off-road capabilities. I'm gonna assume they went forward here. Uh, it might take a second to track this ETK down. Okay, looking for a blue ETK. All right, I saw a glimpse of it. It is definitely ahead of us. Staying on the highway here, uh, which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing for us. Hold on, let's get into the brakes here. Oh, geez. You got to kind of swing it a little bit, but man, the pickup on this car is so nice. Like, the acceleration, like, it doesn't accelerate to me like an SUV. Uh, it's definitely sporty. Oh, geez. Oh, oh, we just clicked the wall. Oh, hold on. Uh, we're going to slide, and we're going to be okay. Hey, just got super lucky there with the slide. <laughs> I'm surprised we didn't catch and flip. That's the thing. I got a little pull to the left right now. We definitely damaged something in the steering, so trust me, I'm not drunk driving here. It's just the whole fact that it is wobbly. 
Uh, it's going to probably not turn to the right as well. Uh, there we go. All right. So we are, I think we're taking the same loop they uh, took earlier. I was going to say we're going to catch in the city section, but I don't think we're going to have to wait. Wait that long? No. Yeah, they're going to make it to the city. But I think we're going to have the upper hand once we get up behind it here. Uh, oh, dear. We're closing. Oh, she's sliding. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> you know, it's pretty controllable. Like, the stability and traction are helping hip check. We just body checked the suspect there. That is not proper uh, police tactics. Hey, I might have fixed the steering, actually. Maybe it was my right front that was broken. Uh, all right, let's go with a... Uh, Oh, it's a dangerous pit uh, with all the guardrails, but you know what? We don't care. We're going to say the suspect's uh, armed and dangerous, so we have to do desperate measures. Are we going to really do a takedown in the same spot? Wow, haunt. Ugh. There we go. I'm going to say the suspect is down. Yeah, this is a plenty capable uh, police car. And you know, the modern like SUV, you're seeing more of those with police departments. I know our local one uses like strictly these now. So it's really good to have in the game. All right, so we got the beefiest of beefy off-road versions here. Uh, this is going to be probably incredible. I, I'm pretty sure this thing's expensive too. <laughs> you know, I'm actually kind of surprised, uh, which maybe I'm wrong. I'll have to look into it. Surprised there wasn't like an electric version of this made. Maybe that'll be a thing in the future. Oh my goodness. Uh, the acceleration on this off-road version is nice. Han, is there, are we in trail mode? Uh, traction control off, comfort, sport, and trail. Okay, trail's green. We were in off-road. So you got off-road and trail. Uh, maybe we'll uh, stick in the off-road version here. Oh, yeah, this thing is not going to have any issues here in Utah, except for maybe some big jagged rocks. But other than that, look at this. We're just cutting right through the, uh, right through the desert here. This looks good. I must say for this year, this has got to be one of the top 10 or top five mods that's come out. Like this thing is glorious. Okay, we got to go hit the trails going up. Uh, so we'll see how this thing handles some climbing. Up, 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 up. Get a little air up on the trail. Oh, geez. <laughs> oh, this is fine. So is there a way up through the canyon here? No, we'll have to go up by the, uh, I think it's like the park ranger station. And then let's try cutting to the left here and see if we can get up. And the off-road capabilities are pretty insane, but it's just all fact that it's just pure luxury on the inside. Hold on, let's climb up the trail here. Oh, yes. It is getting up this with ease. Very nice. Might have to go into the low gear box, but now let's lock it down here. I don't know if we're, I mean, it's not a crawler. Like I would think you wouldn't want to touch that. Actually, I'd probably uh, install a bull bar on this. Yeah, because uh, we would definitely wreck the front end. I think it just backed into a rock there. This is fine. What it's meant for. It's meant for off-roading. Just hope they have plenty body panels available uh, for all the dings that we're going to get doing this. But, man, that that is cool, huh? Let's get one more view of the inside here. Oh, yeah. That is a uh, rugged off-roader there. But if you guys want to check out this mod, I'll have it linked down in the description. We'll see you guys next time.